right, folks, we are here at Pleasant Grove and evaluating what can be done with their sound in their video. They were using a, kind of like everybody else was using a phone and a tripod here. So we're just looking to evaluate what we can do to help them out. All right. Very nice board. So we don't need to do anything with that. Mainly, I'm assuming it's just just really just getting a better image and stuff like that. And I need to talk with them to see if they need to, if they want to do monitors or anything like that. So similarly, Lily, we can we got plenty of outs that we can use for a dedicated audio. So that's not a problem here. I wonder why they have a second, second mixer. That's interesting. All right, folks, so okay. we've pretty much been talking here. So what I'm gonna do, you know how we do it. We're gonna cut over the computer. We're gonna do the schematic and the layout of everything that's gonna be done. And honestly, I know I don't, I don't like saying stuff like this, but this sounds like a simple install. It shouldn't take that long, but let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and we design this stuff. Alrighty, folks, we are back and let's go ahead and cut over to the computer and let's design this system. All right, so honestly, I think this is going to be super, super easy just based off of what's going on. And again, I hope y'all get something from these because I want to show you that it's not as detailed um, as you may think. And this is going to be a very, very super simple install. So let's go ahead and get started with what they already have. They have an Allen and Heath board um, right now, which is a good board. Um, so aren't even touching that in any way, shape or form. Um, and all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add ourselves an ATEM mini extreme. And I normally don't do this. I don't put this in the design, but almost every single time I put a, a SanDisk um, SSD one terabyte there for recording. So I guess I need to start doing that here. So that's gonna be connected over USB. And what color would do for USB? Let's do orange. All right, that is USB. And we're gonna get a dual um, XLR to 3.5 millimeter. That is what I've been starting to switch over to. Um, I just don't get as much hum with that and I can avoid having to do a hum eliminator and all that of good stuff. And that's uh, XLR to 3.5 millimeter. All right. We're going to do a single camera and have some great news about cameras y'all need to be on the lookout for. So um, some really exciting news. Um, I think we got ourselves a camera sponsor, folks. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be a single uh, 20X PTZ. All right, and we're going to just, um, we need a PoE switch. I'm only going to do a four port for this one. Um, so even though it looks like it's bigger than this, it's really only just a four port um, PoE switch, which will reside um, back here. So we're going to connect to the ATEM, of course. The PTZ, of course, and I'm most likely in this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and use the RS-232 joystick that I did not use, um, that I changed out at Union Branch. I kept calling them Union Grove, sorry, Union Branch. Um, I'm going to use that um, since this is going to be a direct feed. So um, we will need to run another line back there. You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. We're going to go back what we traditionally do. We're going to do a, I, I, I need to, I told myself I'm going to stick with these unless there's a real reason to switch over to that. So that is going to be an IP controller. And that would make it simple for adding other cameras in the future. 
boom. Uh, and we're going to run 150 foot fiber HDMI cable back here. That'll be HDMI. And, you know, I believe they're in that same area where um, the internet is, they don't really offer a good um, speeds there. So I told them to get in touch with Liberty Baptist Church that literally it's eight miles down the road. So I've been hitting up a lot of churches there. And, um, well, my name's getting around to a lot of churches in the area. So I'm thankful for that and a lot of recommendations. So that's how we're going to connect the internet to their router. They get a faster internet, boom. And especially after we do the Starlink video, which I am so excited to actually get to producing, hopefully that will open up the door for a lot more folks there. Um, now I'm gonna get a 27 inch, um, if I can spell it right, a 27 inch monitor, and we're gonna mount this to the wall right in front of this and then we're gonna that's gonna be our HDMI out for the multi view and that is literally it that's the entire install now this is gonna set them up in the future that they can get another computer and I think they were already talking about that so let me just actually show you they wanted to know about the conference call and you know we got a video showing how to do that but what we would do is just add a laptop in here. So that could be presentation, Zoom, conference call, doesn't really matter. We're going to have the ATEM connected to here over USB. And that will give um, Zoom and the conference call audio and video and then if they want to run scripture and lyrics, we just go ahead and run another cable out of here. Get it up out of the way so you can see it. And then that will give us our scripture and everything like that. And then in the future, they want to do TVs. We use the other HDMI out that we're not using. Go to a splitter. Boom, there you go. Um, and we'll feed it to TVs in the front if they wanted to do um, use that. So a very good foundation for them to move forward. But honestly, the fact that they said they're fine with the um, cables going from the back, going down and right to the floor to the carpet and hugging the wall all the way to the back, that's going to make that super easy. Don't have to get up in the attic. Literally just got to screw the PTZ in the back wall, run the cables there two cables since I'm going to go with the IP controller and then just fish them into the room then everything else just sets on the table. So um, I'm going to send this off to them. They're probably going to be surprised how fast I got this off to them. But hey, I just want to thank all the folks who are actually recommending me. I really appreciate it. And I hope y'all are getting something out of this by me taking y'all along, doing these deep dives, doing the on sites, doing the designs. Hopefully y'all can see from the wide range of churches that we've done, Methodist, Church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, um, Pentecostal, non-denominational, Catholic, whatever, um, that the stuff is the same. Hopefully you can see some similarities in your ministry and give you a good idea of what you can do and what it takes to move forward. And again, I've seen a bunch of people who have just dissected my videos and they've done all the work at their ministry and they've done a great job. So that's why I do this. Um, not just for y'all to, for me to get business, but also to hopefully show y'all that I started without knowing any of this stuff. And hopefully my videos will help give you a good guide um, to get you through if you plan to tackle a, one of these installs yourself. So link is down below to everything we're gonna use in this install. And you know, we're gonna bring y'all along with us if we get the contract and based on what they said, we probably are. So I'm really thankful for that. But anyway, link is down below to all that stuff. And that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank my patrons and YouTube members for making videos like this possible. Again, my apologies, sincerest apologies for not putting all the names and stuff like that in my videos. And again, um, please forgive me. 
But again, I could not do this without them. And I really appreciate their continued support. Um, their name's on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron or YouTube member by clicking. Well, you can become a Patreon member by going to patreon.com slash AJ to CEO and get started for as little as a buck a month. Or you can click the join button down below where you can become a YouTube member. And we're working on doing some more things for y'all. All of our giveaways, y'all's names are entered immediately twice um, compared to everybody else. But again, thank you so much um, for all that. And I think I blabbed enough. So anyway, folks, we will catch y'all on the next video later. <laughs>